Hey, what's going on guys? DJ has here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a video, show you guys a bunch of random pickups that I ended up getting uh, recently here. And if you guys like this video, hit the thumbs up button, show your support. Also, um, be sure that you guys are being notified of my videos if you guys care and you want to see my videos. I guess there's a lot of things going on with... Uh, YouTube that uh, people aren't getting notified for videos recently, but we'll start off up top I did a Nike haul a little while ago But one thing I didn't show you guys that I did end up getting was these right here And these are some golf balls not really that big of a deal, but um, I actually ended up buying some golf clubs as well And I can show you guys those in another video if you guys want just leave a comment. I bought a um, Nike golf club and then also a uh, I, a, a iron set and then also like a hybrid and I, I'm not a golfer. I haven't golfed in years, but uh, it's been something I've wanted to just get another set that way. Like at least I could actually go golfing when I want to. So um, that was kind of the intent. Anyway, they had a huge sale at Nike. I ended up getting these for 15 bucks each. They retail at 40, $49 um, a set for like each one of these is $49, $48 each. Um, so it was a really good deal, but you guys know Nike um, golf is clearing out. So because of it got a crazy deals on everything that was uh, golf related. I forgot to show you guys uh, something else kind of just humble brag. Um, I ended up getting this guy right here, the Apple uh, iPhone seven. Um, and this is the 256, but I'm actually going to be honest with you guys. I'm selling that one. Uh, I don't think I'm going to keep it. I'm going to probably just sell it because the wife didn't want the gold seven plus that I got her. Uh, she just really didn't want it. She wanted a six. It's a smaller size and she didn't really want the upgraded phone. So going to sell it and, uh, have fun with that. Hopefully I can make enough money that I can buy sneakers, a pair of sneakers when I sell that one. You know, a couple other things we ended up getting here, uh, sneaker box. Uh, we ended up getting a bag with a cool sneaker box logo. Uh, and I'll put the subscription services in the description, but this one's probably one of the better ones that I've seen thus far. They actually ended up giving the rejuvenator, um, sneaker cleaning system which is a pretty nice gift. Like, this is not a cheap th thing. I think this was like 30 bucks alone. And actually I have this one myself already, but it's always good to have doubles. And it comes with the uh, the cleaner as well as the, uh, and I'm dropping everything here so you can't see, but it comes with a cleaner and it comes with shoe trees as well. So there you have it. You could see the shoe trees and then the rejuvenator cleaner. And I'm gonna drop the rest of it down there like that. But really a uh, really nice little, um, gift in the uh, sneaker box this month so that was that one then they also they ended up doing a couple other things in here some laces always nice to have some extra laces and this one has uh, blue and some red paint splatter on those ones and then probably the coolest thing um well you got the sneaker box sticker as well for those that like stickers and then a little bit more information if you guys want more detailed information you guys can screen cap that right there but this is definitely one of those cool things that they ended up sending some stance socks and this colorway is really dope with the orange kind of shattered backboard look to these ones um so i was like yeah these ones are definitely something i, I would rock uh so well done to sneaker box uh for that and then i'll show you guys the kith stuff and then the last uh, sneaker tub for those wondering what's in that giant tub right over there but um I don't want to, you guys wait to the end of the video to see all this kit stuff that I ended up getting. So I ended up getting a, a long sleeve kind of off-white shirt. Uh, I'm not really the fashionable dude, but it's kind of nice to have some fashionable-ish sort of things. And size is XL. It really is like triple XL, though. This thing's huge. Uh, it has kind of the, uh, the rough edges around it. I kind of like that. And so just a nice shirt for the wintertime to layer. Um, and then I also ended up getting a, uh, a kit box tee shirt. Um, I have a gray one thanks to one of my riders, um, uh, Hype John, who uh, laced me up with one of them, but I, I really liked it, so I ended up getting another one of these. And then, let's see here, I'm just going to go like this. This is the big thing to show you guys in the video, though. This is a RF Bape Sta, and you can see size 42, which is equals a 9 US. And if you guys don't know what this is, I'll show you guys. You can see the Bape um, kind of camo print all over the top. Really limited run. I heard uh, 400 worldwide uh, pairs of these, which is pretty pretty crazy limited. But this uh, is the uh, the Bapesta Feigsta collaboration. If I'm saying it wrong, you guys can laugh at me. You guys always do. Have fun. Laugh at me in the comment section. But um, you can see the Bape and the Feig and then on the tongue as well. And then on the inside, it says it Bape and Feig on the insole. Really, really nice quality materials, as you can see on here. And super crazy heavy. This is one of the craziest, heaviest shoes I've ever owned. But part of the reason why is because it comes with this guy right here. And it actually comes with a, a wooden um, 
insert. So that's that was kind of cool. Also, if you can see, it's leather lined, really nice premium leather lining. But the craziest part of all about these crazy things was the price, man. $300 was the price point on these. These were so expensive, but I honestly didn't know they were that expensive when I was checking out. It was just luck of the draw. I got to the site early enough and I refreshed just at the right time, checked out in cart. And a lot of people were asking me if I use bots, which is hilarious to me because you guys, if you don't know, I don't use any bots and that's why I lose half the time. But I also do end up winning a lot so I can see why people would question it. But uh, but the reason why is because I just I frequent the sites, man. I'm familiar with the sites. I buy things from these sites on a regular basis, so I kind of have an idea of how the rundown goes for the sites. And for this one, I just lo logged in. Luckily, everything checked out really, really quickly. And um, and then as soon as I refreshed and went back on, it was instantly sold out. So I just got really lucky. Anyway, the last thing to show you guys in the video, got a giant thing here from Sneaker Tub. This is another uh, kind of a subscription service like Sneaker Box, kind of like Sneaker Box and Threadbeast in a sense, um, mixed because they do send you a lot of other things. Uh, and it's quite a bit more expensive, but you get quite a variety of things. And you guys weigh in in the comments, let me know if you guys think it's worth it or not. I think that it's a hit or miss service, uh, to be 100% honest. Uh, but there's definitely some pros and some cons that I'll get into in a second here. But I want to show you guys Bulls hat here, Carolina blue Bulls hat, and a snapback. Um, a couple pairs of stance socks. Uh, the Chicago ones are dope. I know these these ones would get some rotation just because there's a lot of Bulls colored um, sneakers that I own. Obviously, a lot of Jays, and then these ones probably would go with like the Laney's, uh, Laney Laney fives. They also sent a T-shirt in the mix, and uh, just kind of a random print T-shirt. This one looks like it's Biggie, like a kind of a Biggie kind of background. But if you guys I'm a I'm a West Coaster, so I'm more of a of a, a Pac fan myself personally, but uh, still cool nonetheless. Just another T-shirt to rock. Then a little couple miscellaneous things like um, a magnet, and then the big thing here is though this these guys actually send sneakers. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these things real quick. All right, so the rest of the stuff here we have uh, a little letter from them, and you can see it says Hey Hess. And uh, just so you guys know, you guys can read this if you want, but it says you guys can use the code HESKICKS, and I'll put a link in the description to this subscription service as well. And if you use the code HESKICKS, it will get you an extra item in your package if you guys choose to do so. Kind of expensive, it's $150 as you can see for this package that you could see with the hat, toothpaste, of socks, t-shirt, and then uh, you can see there's a couple other things here. And what's in the VIP box, and you can see and read this. This is what is in the tub. So it's Jordans, Nikes or Adidas, and so on, and and so on. So there's a couple little accessories and things, some previous ones as you can see here. Uh, but uh, let's get into it and show you guys what I got. Also, they come with a little extras. Look at this, it's sole rubbers. This is hilarious because it looks like it's in a Jim Jam um, <laughs> package. And this is like mega, mega, mega magnum size Jim Jams. <laughs> like this is ridiculous. But uh, no, just, I don't know it's inappropriate, but it's actually just a, a shoe cleaner thing. But I haven't seen the one like this, so it's kind of cool and always nice to have extra of those. And then got a little Supreme uh, camo keychain in the mix as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at the shoes that they ended up sending. They sent two pairs, and uh, you can see that this one's called the Superstar uh, Festival Pack. And this is one of them. So it's a pair of Superstars. Superstars tend to run a little bit big. That's one problem with Adidas a lot of times is that the sizing is always a little, wee bit off. Um, but it's it's hit or miss it is, is an, um, I guess, my bottom line. Uh, light racers as well, the Adidas Neos. And these things actually aren't that bad. It's like a lower like grade shoe in a sense where it's not like a, obviously like a boost or anything like that. But it's super lightweight and just a nice casual shoe if, the, if you're looking for something like that. So... Um, that is that one. This one is the Superstar. It's canvas upper on this pack. Not a bad looking Superstar, but I have to be 100% not really feeling it because um, I'm not a big fan of green. I like, like, uh, I'm more of an orange kind of fan. Go, go Beavs uh, over the Ducks for, for myself personally. But, so, uh, pros about the uh, Snicker Tub. Uh, it's nice to have a variety and have things sent to you and not have to worry about like going and picking out a bunch of stuff if you guys really just don't like to go shopping. Cons, the, to be honest, like some of the coloring is a little bit odd. Like it's it's almost like like Threadbeast, they try to like match things sort of that you could wear together. But like 
like this. I don't know if I would wear any of these with any of that. And I don't know if I would wear any of like this with any of this. And I wouldn't wear this with any of this. That's like nothing matches. So for me personally, like that's kind of a big miss because you can't really wear any of it together. But uh, but if you have a variety of stuff, then it doesn't really matter. Uh, at the end of the day, it's, it's not a bad service. For $150 a month, you get uh, two pairs of sneakers. And you can see here, two pairs of socks, a shirt, a hat. And if you like just extra stuff sneaker related, then it's a, a fun subscription service to check it out. But uh, but I'll link that and then the uh, the sneaker box co as well in the description for you guys if you guys want to see these other companies out there and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video kind of a long one appreciate you guys for sticking through the end if you guys did uh, give yourselves a pat on the back and we'll catch you guys for some more videos soon peace guys.